the project started back in October. Um, uh, students had to interview to get a part, you know, get a place on the course. Then the next stage was obviously them signing up and taking part in the referees course and the futsal course. So the journey was over a two day, um, which went really, really well. Since then, we've had lots of CPD sessions with local people that have come in to support our, our students. So we've, we've had sessions with futsal coaches, UEFA futsal coaches. Um, also, they've had uh, online lessons to do and online learning, so they've had to watch videos of referees uh, and obviously feedback on what they've, they've seen. We've also taken students out to tournaments um, in the local area, which has been really, really good, really useful to get them into refereeing and develop the skills and you know build the confidence with that. So it's been really positive. Um, Again today we're in a session with our football development officer um, just to support the kids uh, you know, moving forward and you know, continue that upskill uh, and support their confidence in getting them out into the community. And today's a CPD module just to further develop the referees and make them better out on the, uh, on, on the pitch. Uh, denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity is a key match decision. So it's a decision that when it happens on the pitch, they've got to get it right. Um, so we did a bit of clip review, a clip analysis, um, had discussions which were positive within the classroom. Um, and then to follow on to that, after we uh, had lunch, we've then gone out and done a technical session around Dogzo, which again, we've put what we've learned in the classroom out onto the pitch. We've given them the opportunity to give a Dogzo decision, whether that be inside or outside the area. We've let them make the decision, whether it be a red or yellow card, penalty free kick, whatever that may be, so that they've got that on the spot learning. And then off the top of that, we've also gone for assistant refereeing. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely like to see where I can take refereeing. Uh, really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I'd like to go up the levels if I can, as possible. I really like that there was learning um, in, in the classroom, so you'd see it visually, but also it'd be taught to you. Um, so like. For instance, this morning we've been going through like videos of um, of play and analysing them in a group setting. But obviously later we'll be going outside and doing that practically. So the variation of the bow fit keeps it engaging, and it's just fun to do it with both aspects and then gain confidence through doing it both ways. Being on the course we're at, we get offered a lot of things, and usually I feel like referee in particular. Way. It's quite male dominated. There's not really much representation of women, even with just refereeing or even playing. And I feel like being offered the chance as a woman to, to do something that is dominated by men is a, it's, it's just great just to get myself out there. But not only me, but to also encourage more girls and hopefully just set standard.